Hi guys, my name is Stan Lee and I'm from RC Tank Legion. Thank you for watching my channel. So today we're going to do an unboxing video of this shipment that, is, that just came in. This is not a hover cut, okay? This is just a box that um, this package is shipped in. So I'm going to open right, uh, the box up and we'll see what's inside. Whoa, Armored Models! Shipment from Armored Models is finally here. This is the Panzer IV Space Armor. Um, thank you, James, for uh, packing this really, really nicely. We requested that the package is extra, extra carefully packed because it was crushed the last time it came here. But nothing was broken, thank God. So we've got the... Let me open this up. One thing I like about my job is like Christmas every time these sort of packages come in. Okay, so we've got the Crows and Enforcer kits, which is for the uh, M1 Abrams and the um, Challengers. Challengers is called the Enforcer and the M1 Abrams is called the Crows. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so we've got the uh, Enforcer kit. With the GPMG barrel and, and stuff. This is Enforcers. Enforcers, Enforcers, okay. Whole bag of it. Beautiful, uh, beautifully printed. These are SLA resin printed. That's why they don't have the, you know, the normal rigid um, lines that you see when you get from 3D printing. This is the Crow's kit. This is for your Abrams. This is new. As you can see, Oh, beautiful kit. Oh, with very nice swivel as well. Okay, has all the barrels and the uh, looks like the armor. Okay, this pit, this bit here is FDM uh, printed. Still very nice. Okay, very very nice. Okay, I'm gonna put this bubble back in. And over here is the Challenger mantlet. Ah, we got the uh, Soviet figures. Okay, very nice. Soviet commanders. We got a few of these. Soviet commanders. Very nice. And we've got the Challenger. Um, Mandlet, which saves you the trouble of cutting this open and cutting off the uh, the bellows. So we'll be supplying the bellows very shortly. We'll have very nice rubber bellows that will be coming in. Okay, let me... It's this The mandlet has the moving op uh, you know, door. So for us, uh, we put our uh, IR, BB, uh, IR LED over there. <coughs> so that's, that's how you do it. Not much space for a micro servo to open and close the door though, but you know, it's, it's still a very nice kit and super smooth. I don't think you need to do any finishing whatsoever. Super nice. Let's see what we have over here. Oh, T72 contact era block kit. Overall, very nice kit. Oh, beautifully sharp. Oh, there's a lot of lots of bits and pieces here. Okay, because these are FDM printed, you may still need to clean up a little bit, uh, especially if you want to peel off uh, the backing plate. But otherwise, it's easy. It's not difficult. Just uh, pry it, and you'll you'll come right off. Let's see. Or or is it really? Oh, it's part of it. Okay, so you don't have to do any prying. I think it's just stick on. This I recognize. This will be your front on your front. Uh, and I think this is where your headlights stick out. Or headlights over here, I think. Yeah, very nice. And I think it looks just right with some um, primer paint and then you paint over it, it looks right. You don't even have to clean this up. Maybe a tiny bit of flash uh, here and there. But yeah, so we have some, some of these kits here. Hey, and what's the small package here? Shell kits. 
This is for you uh, detail hogs. You like to detail up your tanks. So we've got the Panzer IV ammo crate, Panzer IV ammo crate, uh, Panther ammo crate. Let's see what's inside. Beautifully detailed uh, shells. You have to clean this up a little bit. I see a little bit of flashing here, but overall very nice detail. FDM printed. And because it's a box, right? So you don't you don't have to clean this up very, very much up anyway, so it looks natural. But the the shells you need to clean. We have Panthers, 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 Panthers. And we have what's this? Abrams 120 Sable rounds. These from the looks of it are SLA printed. Nice. Look how sharp this is. Okay. This being SLA, uh, before you paint them, it's a good idea to give it a, sh uh, a quick wash with uh, isopropyl alcohol, uh, IPA. Let me get that right. Uh, isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. So these are nice. Abram Sable Rounds. Sable Sable Rounds. And what's inside? Okay, we have Tiger 188 shells. Also very nicely printed. High quality prints. Oh. Bit of buffing you needed just to polish this up and you can paint them and this will look lovely. Very nice. So again, I don't think you have to clean the box at all because then it'll look nice and natural with all the uh, lines and everything. But you just, have, you just have to polish up the uh, the shells and they'll look perfect. So these are your Tiger One kits. Oh, do you know about the uh, the Sable rounds that you can also use it for the um, uh, Leopard and the Challenger because they, they technically use the same uh, shell, really. Now for the big one. Side. I've got the Challenger main battle tank armor kit, the Chobham armor kit. It comes with a nice set of instructions. Uh, oh, it's even included with sandpaper. Very nice of uh, armored models. Oh, very nice. Detailed kit. So, very nice of. Uh, Armor models to supply you with uh, German brands uh, silica uh, sandpaper. Comes with all these bits and pieces. These are all the details. Ooh, uh, armored exhaust for the Challenger. RPG cage. This would be the front slat armor, the front uh, chin armor, as we call it. The sides. I think this is for the turret. Ah, armored exhaust, I think. Also, I'm not sure. This is definitely very nice. Okay, uh, we we actually sold a, a few here in Malaysia already, and the customer is so happy to to report that the finishing is perfect. Uh, uh, installing them is a is a real joy because it's very nice and flat. You don't have to do any finishing, and he said he didn't have, even have to stand any of this. He painted uh, two coats of paint. It looks fantastic, so it's great. So these are all the little details that go with it. Okay, overall, a very, very nice kit. These are all FDM printed. There is a bit of a furry bits, but it's not so difficult. Just give a touch with the sandpaper and you're good to go. So let's see what's the other box. And here we have the M1 Tusk 2 Armor Kit. In, again, comes with very nice color instructions. Tusk 2 Kit. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Wow, a very nice comprehensive kit. Lots and lots of bits and pieces, especially for the side armor. Just, uh, just kind of like those dragon scales that you hang on the side. Oh, the crows, armored station, gun station. What's 
this. I think this is the. Uh, can't remember. Uh, I'm not. I'm not very familiar with the task. Let's see. Ah, the Duke Atena Assembly. This is the rear Duke Atena Assembly. Side armor. This is where you mount all your your uh, curve armor on it. All the little dragon scales. Again, very nice smooth finish for you to stick onto your tank. This is probably the anti wire, anti trip wire cut. Also, oh, this is also the mounting plates for the uh, side armor. Uh, RPG cage. This one you need to clean the flash a little bit. Ah, and also more mounting plates for the side armor. Again, a very nice kit. Sweet. Okay, so this uh, this will be all available from our web store, rctanklegion.com. Uh, this, uh, this, we ship worldwide. Um, we have no restrictions to ship almost anywhere. Uh, check with us if you're in some country that is uh, not very common, for example, I don't know, maybe, but I think we are, we are okay to ship everywhere. We don't have any restrictions. We have been shipping to US and UK, Australia, Singapore, no problem whatsoever. So you can always uh, place an order with our web store. Do leave your suggestions for what we should carry next in our web store in this comment section below. And we'll do our best to try and, and uh, source that product for you. And if you have any questions uh, or any suggestions, again, leave it in the comment section below. And remember to stay safe during this pandemic. Wash your hands, wear masks when you go outside. Before I forget, remember to hit that, that bell icon for more notifications when my new videos come up. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.